Hi guys, we're here at our home in Kentucky. Um, so many of you have supported us financially, have supported us just spiritually and are praying for us. And we thought this would be a great way to connect. Kind of think of it as like, we're FaceTiming in to give a little update. What do you miss the most about Miami? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, um, I was out so what's today? Saturday? I was Sunday. out. Today is Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to Walmart, and as I got there, I saw that there's a big sign that said store closing. Uh, everything 25% off. So I'm like, okay, this is going to be insane. And I went inside. Even though it was like a store closing of a Walmart on a Saturday, people were like really calm and like walking around, just kind of meandering the halls. <laughs> Uh, like I didn't know how to behave myself. I felt like I don't know what's appropriate here. <laughs> so I think I don't know what that means about what I miss about Miami, but <laughs> I just feel I feel a little bit like in a foreign country like me. Okay, so what's what do you miss the most? I miss our neighborhood. We've been there for seven years and we just we knew every neighbor. We felt so safe and comfortable with our kids and being in a new place. It's like you're always on guard, you're always watching out like who's that person, who's that person, and I just miss our sweet neighbors, so. Okay, so what's been a highlight for you this week? I think um, going to the Manassas or Battle Bull Run battlefield with the kids. After they had finished um, filling this out, they each got like a little badge and um, Solomon was really excited about the cannons. Um, so he spent all week saying, boom, says the cannon. Stop. Solomon wrote home, I'm okay, I haven't been shot yet. <laughs> Solomon. <laughs> this is um, a flag, Mary Jane's flag, it has ice cream cones on it. Okay, so we'll close with some prayer requests. Uh, three things I'll just share real quick. The first one would be the kids. Um, I would love prayer for well, for us to have patience with them and, and, you know, they don't really know what's going on. They're trying to process it all. Um, the other thing would be, I guess just in these, especially this next like couple of months, I would say like maybe one to two months, we're going to be visiting a lot of different churches. So we won't really be plugged into a church community here locally, which feels a little unnerving and a little unsteady, a little lonely. And then the last one, oh. yeah. Let's say another one. Oh, what are you gonna say? Were we gonna take turns with prayer requests, or were you just gonna? Like... I had three. Is that too many? <laughs> oh, but then you take all of mine too. <laughs> oh, yours too. <laughs> I didn't know those were the same ones. Okay, I'm sorry. What was your last one? <laughs> we need a washer and dryer. We don't have one, and we need oh, to buy one or rent one. It's kind of more practical, but and we need to do more. laundry. <laughs> Uh, we went to Sojourn Midtown uh, this morning, and it was a wonderful experience. We went there with C.J. Smidgen, um, but you know it, we're gonna we're gonna be looking at a lot of churches, trying to just expand our experience of church life, and you know experience what it's like to visit. That God would lead us to the right place and make it clear to us when we get there that hey, this is where God wants us for the season, um, really to prepare us uh, to come home to Miami. Um, and hopefully stretch us and grow us in unique ways. So thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, supporting us and being here for us. Um, Melinda put together some pictures and videos from the week. Uh, so enjoy and we'll see you again soon. Bye. So here's us saying goodbye to Abuelo. Lots of snuggles, lots of boxes. Here we're packing up our truck. It was not a very big truck, so we definitely played a little Tetris trying to get everything in. And we had a whole lot of help. Just so thankful for everyone who helped us that day. And Corey drove with David up to Atlanta, which was so nice. We got some ice cream while Daddy was out. He unpacked all the truck with his brothers and Dad, and CJ came to help as well. Show you where we ended up. We were able to get uh, a lot of the kitchen essentials unpacked. We got the dining room, the living room, the piano. There's a Daniel. Mm -hmm. We got the futon with Olivia's uh, thing. But uh, all the lens are ending up in there. The kids' beds. 
they have a huge closet. And then here's our bedroom. It's the desk, side table. Goodbye East Lake Drive. Goodbye East Lake Drive. Goodbye West Lake Drive. Goodbye, goodbye. Hi guys. Hi. Olivia, can you say hi? hi. <laughs> okay, so we're at our first stop. We've been on the road for about two hours, so pretty good for four kids. We can get two hours in before a stop. And we are packed. We've got food in here. We got bags. special treats and we're about to open up Special treats bag. So this was a book that a friend gave us to read on a road trip. It was so awesome. Um, we obviously packed all of our food and were able to eat all of our meals in the car, which also made the ride go a lot faster, I think, for us and the kids. Um, Grandma packed some sweet treats for us as well, which the kids had a fun time eating, and also some crafts to play with. Grandma's the best. She just spoiled us. Um, so yeah, we had a great time. That first leg was about six hours, and we got to our hotel and just started playing in the pool. give you a little tour because it is day two we're in Savannah Georgia and all six of us slept in one hotel room this, <clears throat> Olivia slept in a pack and play right there we slept there the girls slept on that bed and Solomon had his own little bed my fridge is packed so yeah this is our room we're doing our best to uh, try to stay organized I'm about to pack it up Thanks for following us along with our journey, and we'll see you in D.C. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're going to the National Archives right now, and the weather is beautiful. Are you excited, buddy? Yes! What do you see? Dinosaur! So, we are now walking back to our car. Sweet little Olivia thinks she can ride a scooter. Right now. See it? Oh, there it is. That's the White House. Is well, oh.
Oh, Target! Chick fil A! morning it's our first day at the house the girls have their jackets on because it's freezing out here it's freezing. It's summertime. It's gonna be a very interesting winter <laughs> So this is a prime example of the crazy that is in our house right now. We broke glass all over the floor. Don't have a broom yet. David accidentally stepped on it and like cut off his foot really bad. Now I'm just trying to leave. Like all I want to do is go grocery shopping and I can't find the light switch. I don't know how to turn the lights off in this house. So I spent the last five minutes looking for a pen. Oh, there we go. Yes. Looking for a pen, I couldn't find one, so I used the kid's marker. Anyway, it's about to get in the car. Day one of our adventures in Kentucky. Let's see what Kroger is like. Hi guys, I just finished cooking my first meal in my kitchen. We just got back from church and we have a special guest joining us today for lunch. Hi! This is our special guest for lunch. <laughs> when Annabelle saw him, she ran up and gave him a huge hug. She was so happy she didn't yeah. know. Welcome to Louisville. <laughs> I think that looks good. Now to tackle the master bedroom. The closet is cleared out and starting to put clothes inside, so we're almost done, at least with this room. Hi guys! <laughs> well, is to like subscribe, and I think you need to like press a bell that gives you notifications. Um, why are you laughing at me? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm trying to transition us into photos. Anna, and but what was the last coherent thing that we said? <laughs> <laughs> so we made your prayer request. And then, why don't you close it? I opened it.